I'm in Maine, Treasure Finders, and I'm headed to the beach. I have no idea what the beaches are going to be like here in Maine. Well, I do a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to find too many shells or beach glass, but there are tide pools here, so I'm going to go check those out. I, I do have a beach that I know I can find beach glass, or sea glass they call it out here, but that is going to be a few days down the road. And I'm going to take you down to the beach. I'm at Wells Beach right now, and we're going to go looking at some tide pools. Oh my gosh, this beach is gorgeous this morning. It's low tide, and I'm going to go check out all of this rocky area for tide pools. It's absolutely amazing. Look at this. Ooh. There's my dog and my husband. What an amazing morning. So the tide pools form inside all of these rocks. You can see all of the snails and everything all over the rocks. I'm going to be really careful as I'm walking through here I'm to not step on any of the sea life. All these pockets of water are tide pools. All kinds of sea life living in there. Look at this beach. It's incredible. Not a great shell, but a few shells here. The old one. Old salty dog. Here's a little slipper shell. I'm not going to keep it today, but a few little shells out here. wonderful out here in the morning. There's hardly anybody out here. Where this beach was just packed yesterday because it was super hot. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this little morning here. My husband's over there on his phone. Right there. He's on his phone. He's droning. There's our drone. Here I thought he was just on his phone. This guy curling along this morning. I'm on a private beach this morning in Maine and you could really beach hunt out here for days. But it's 4th of July weekend and it's about 50 degrees out. And so we're just popping by here today, but hopefully we'll be able to come back and do a little bit more beach combing here since we have permission, but it is privately owned by a family member, so we can't reveal the spot. But here's the piece of sea glass. 
Hello, all you YouTubers. Don't go change it. Here we have uh, crockery. This is uh, broken shards of, of plates. Yeah, I find and, this stuff all the time. Yeah, the, the life-saving station we're about to visit was decommissioned in 1948. So these are at least 75 years old. Nice. Every single day, high tide, low tide, wandering around on the beach. But this is the winning shot right here. All right. So that is the full logo of the U.S. Coast Guard showing that it oh was wow. the Coast Guard's plate. Yeah, that's cool. yeah, you can see a little piece there that's actually a different pattern. So there you go. And that's what we're hoping to find today. All right, you got it. I'm okay, on it. Very excellent. Are we on it, folks? We're on it. <laughs> Everybody? Everybody? Evan, you in? Oh, yeah. Okay. It. Which direction, Hugh? Uh, like right over there. Okay, can you get over there? Or? Okay. Well, that didn't go real well on the boat, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm giving these this glass to Chris that I found on <laughs> Wood Island. Oh, the credit July goes to, to Kate. Oh, look at her with her. I know, and you <laughs> got my <laughs> my splint. Yep. Way. I spotted. Whoa! You are on Hello. the payroll. If you don't know, we partnered with the main Army National Guard. So they built the two seawalls, they built the shed, all that fun and games as their annual training. So our deal is we provide the materials, the permits, and the engineering. So they're coming for 10 days, August 6th through 16th, with 30 men. So that labor is free. So if we run out of dough just now and have more carpentry to do, watch out, 30 guys in 10 days. These finds are from my first day picking on a private beach in Maine. This was so much fun. I just washed all of these lovely bits up. Found some really beautiful blues and my daughter found this purple piece. Some crockery, some little moon snails, other snails. This was so much fun and we're going to do this hopefully one more time before we leave.
How's the ocean, Jack? He's getting used to it. <laughs> 